The first round of this legal battle between Meghan and the Mail on Sunday and a victory for the newspaper after the judge, Mr Justice Warby, agreed to remove certain parts of the Duchess's case. Associated newspapers objected to three aspects of the Duchess's case. Uh, the allegation that the newspaper acted dishonestly, the allegation that it had deliberately dug up or stirred up conflict between the Duchess and her father, and the allegation that it had an agenda of publishing intrusive or offensive stories about her. In a summary, the judge found the allegations were impermissibly vague and lacking in particulars in relation to claims that Associated Newspapers had in some way stirred up the conflict between the Duchess and her father and that much more detail would be required to enable the pleaded claims to be fully understood and dealt with in relation to claims that the publisher had an obvious agenda of publishing intrusive or offensive stories. Meghan is suing the paper for publishing sections of a letter that she wrote to her father, a case that her lawyers insist still stands. The extremes to which the Mail on Sunday used distortive, manipulative and dishonest tactics to target the Duchess of Sussex have been put on full display. Whilst the judge recognises that there is a claim for breach of privacy and copyright, we're surprised to see that his ruling suggests that dishonest behaviour is not relevant. We feel that honesty and integrity are at the core of what matters. The fact that the Duchess's legal team have been told that two of their key arguments have to be struck out of this case could be seen as a setback. But their bullish statement shows that Meghan and Harry have no intention of backing down on this one as they follow every step of this case from their new home in America. This first legal hearing may not have gone their way, but they are convinced they still have a case and believe the mail on Sunday must be held to account as we still wait for a trial date to be set. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in central London.